wow, this hair, it has definitely seen better days. So we're about to go from a bad hair day to a good hair day. What up guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just finished my workout and I am sweaty, like super sweaty. I need to wash my hair and today's wash day. So I figured I would bring you guys along my hair washing, hair styling, hair treating routine, showing you guys the shampoos, conditioners, and masks that I love to use, my leave-in products, my heat protection products, and then also show you guys how to get these bomb waves right here. As I mentioned, it is hair wash day and I know that sounds a little weird to some people, but I only wash my hair one to two times a week I know but let me explain myself I shower every single day at night in the morning after my workout and then at night before bed I have to because I work out every day as of lately very proud of myself for that but I do not wash my hair every single day because it would just take me so long to style my hair I have k-tip extensions and on top of that get web to wash my hair every single day so I only wash it one or two times a week and I do a little hacks in between I also use dry shampoo dry conditioner and I do things that make it work for me personally but nothing is better than a full root to end wash a nice blowout nice curls treatments like it's self-care for me so i'm excited to show you guys this like routine that i do and what really works for me and how i get my hair to just look chef's kiss amazing as you guys know i am one of the ambassadors for ghd Woo -woo! so i'm excited T today's video is going to be in partnership with them to show you guys how i style my hair beautiful waves with my favorite curl iron from them so very excited for this self-care a much needed day it's Monday, we're gonna kill it, and we're about to get, you know, nice and cute. Since I can't take the camera into the shower, I wanna show you guys a shampoo conditioner that I love to use. These two are from Olaplex. It's the number four and five bond maintenance shampoo and conditioner. Great for repairing, strengthening, and nourishing your hair, as you guys can see. Since I got on blonde, I had to change up my shampoo and conditioner that I was using, and I needed something that was more like a shampoo kind of treatment, and love, love these. You can see I've been using them like crazy, but oh, love them, love them, love them. I do also use this blue shampoo from Fanola that is called the Anti-Orange Shampoo. So I know you guys probably like blue shampoo. I've heard of purple, but not blue. So pretty much this is enriched with blue anti-orange pigments that's gonna neutralize unwanted orange tones on color, highlighted, or bleached hair. They do also have a purple shampoo, but because my hair does pull more orange, this has worked perfectly for me. So a fan of this, I'm gonna do a couple drops of this into my roots. And then something else I'm gonna be trying out today is the Thick Hair Treatment Mask from The Way. This is a new product that they just came out with. I haven't masked my hair in a long time, so I'm just gonna be adding these to my ends, and that is it. in the shower my hair my scalp my body thanks me right now for that I'm all now just soaking up my skin in some moisturizer I'm gonna show you guys my favorite moisturizer for my body Nivea essentially enriched if you guys have dry to very dry skin thank me later this stuff is like a game changer and you can see it's a nice stick consistency but it's very nourishing very moisturizing I love that it gives me this glow do you guys see the glow that my decollete is radiating right now love it Guys, I went ahead and switched over to the bigger camera so we can get into the styling part of today's video. So as you can see, my hair is pretty damp and I do not brush at all when it's wet. I've learned this the hard way. So I avoid brushing it out just because I do have highlights, I have K-tips, so I don't want to break my hair or tug on it or pull it. So I just kind of let it be until I'm ready to completely brush it out. But what I do next is go in with the leave-in conditioner. I love leave-in products. I find it to just make the brushing process so much better. It makes my hair softer, and who doesn't love like a good leave-in conditioner? So the one that I love is from Fanola. This one is the Nutri-Care Bi-Phase Reconstructing Leave-In Conditioner. Again, I won't brush out until it's damp, but I like to let this sit in there. Comment down below if you guys have a favorite leave-in conditioner that you absolutely love. I love finding new leave-in conditioners. I have a couple other ones, but this one's been like my favorite lately. So now that the leave-in conditioner is on, I'm gonna go in and spray some protective primer. This is an absolute must. 
absolute must when I style my hair. So the one that I love to use is from Bumble and Bumble, and it is the Invisible Oil Heat UV Protective Primer. This is really great for dry to very dry hair. And what I like about this is that it's going to soften, detangle, defrizz, and also protect my hair against breakage, heat styling, and UV damage. So next I'm gonna go in with my GHD Helios hair dryer and go ahead and dry out my hair. I'm not doing like a round brush or blow up, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this mainly in my roots and this area because like I said, I do have the K-tip extension, so they take a little bit more longer to dry than my normal hair, so I do need to run this through it. But I like this also because I can kind of, in a way, straighten out my hair before I get into styling with the curling iron. And this dries my hair so, so fast. So I'm gonna go to get started and put some nice music on and speed it up so you guys can see. round brush the top of my hair. This is the only area that I do because I want this to be sleek and smooth and then from there I'm actually going to set it so that when I am done with all my curls and I release it, this has a lot of volume and it just kind of flows with the curls. cute. <laughs> so we're going to get to styling and I'm going in with my favorite curling iron from GHG which is the Curve Soft Curl Iron. This is the best curling iron for any kind of waves that you want to achieve. You want beachy, you want tight, you want loose, you want tasseled. It has a 1.25 barrel which is perfect for any hair length. One thing I like about GHG's tools, like all of their tools that they have, just one button that you need to click. It heats up to 365 Fahrenheit which is the healthiest temperature for your hair to have. And that just alerted me that it is ready to go. It literally heats up in seconds. But the 365 Fahrenheit temperature is the healthiest temperature for your hair, so it's never going to dry it out or fry it. So this keeps it at that temperature the whole time. So before we get started in the curls, I do want to let you guys know that GHG is having their winter sale right now, and they're offering you guys 20% off of the Curve Soft Curl Iron. There will be a link down below where you guys can shop at the end of the video, because I do want you guys to see how the curls go down. So check it out when we are done with that. And just for reference, anytime I'm filming, my hair is done, or there's any photo of me on Instagram, my hair is done, it's always with a GHG tool. You guys can always refer back to my photos to see different styles that I've done with it. And I'm gonna go ahead and start just kind of doing one big section right here. So what I'm gonna do is just brush out my hair, split it into two pieces like that, and start off by kind of just straightening the front part of it, and then wrap the hair around, hold for a few seconds, and then from there, lightly start to work my way. This allows the entire strand to get curled versus just like the ends. And if I'm going for a more beachy kind of relaxed look, I will leave the ends out. But today I am going to be curling them all the way through. And then you're going to see I'm going to lightly start just kind of twisting and releasing the iron and let it cool down in my hands. Now, if you really want the curls to be tight, you can actually set them. Put something here to hold it just kind of like I did on top. That's if you want them just a little bit more tighter. Also recommend hairspray and other stuff. But for me, I just like them to be still a little bit more, more relaxed. So I just let them go. And look at that. I'm gonna go now and curl this side again, just lightly smoothing at the root. And that's it. So I'm gonna keep on now working towards the end. And then once I feel like it's been on there for a pretty good amount of time, I'm gonna go ahead and lightly release the clamp, let it fall, and then go ahead and hold it and push it up. And there is the curl. So now we're gonna move into the next section, and I don't know if you guys can see, but it is a lot thicker. Now, because I do want these curls to be pretty soft and bouncy, I'm gonna be taking bigger sections. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of texture spray. This one is from Ella Luz. It's called the Dry Texture Finishing Spray. And I just like this, so it has a little bit of a grip, so when the curl goes on, it kinda lasts a little longer. And because this section is gonna be a little thicker, I'm gonna hold it on for just a little longer. But every just few seconds, I'm going to lightly release the clamp so that we can move it down to ensure that the whole entire section gets curled. 
And just so you guys know that there is different styles of curling your hair. You can do it in so many ways. It's really what you're comfortable with. I think for me, it just depends on the style of curl that I'm going for. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth the root of my hair out with the iron. Something to point out that it is important is to always curl away from your face. You want your curls to go this way and not inward. And then right at the front, you can see this is like my hair right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a light curl. So I'm gonna smooth out the front and you can see I'm not holding up for that long. Go all the way to the end so that it's nice and smoothed out. And that is pretty much it for those sections of the curls. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and release these pieces just so that we can, oops, get this whole side to go together. You can see it definitely has a lot of volume, a lot of body. And then for the front, I'm just gonna do one big curl. Just wait until my makeup's done. Woo! I actually just ran out of this texture spray, so grabbing another one. This one is from Kristen S. It is the Dry Finish Working Texture Spray. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. Now we're gonna go in and brush out these curls, and I'm gonna go in with a white tooth comb. I love using a white tooth comb for these kind of curls because it's going to brush it out, but still hold the form. It's still gonna give me a lot of volume and overall still gives me the body and curl that I want, but just a lot softer than what you guys are seeing right now. So a paddle brush is another option that you can use if you don't wanna use a white tooth comb, but that's gonna soften it out. I tend to use a paddle brush on different types of curls, but for these, I love a white tooth comb. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start taking this towards the end. While I'm doing this too, I'm also kind of pulling up and you can see it's adding lots of body to my hair, but again, still keeping the curls curled. You know what I mean? Like it's not fully brushing it out. You see how brushing them out just lightly soften them up, but it still has all its body, it's still bouncy, and it's not too brushed out to where the curl is completely gone. That's why I love using these, they're so good. So I'm now gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I'm gonna do a quick glam, and I'll be back to show you guys the final look. Okay. Okay. Wow, I'm giving some major news reporter, licenciada, senorita kind of vibes. I don't know guys, give me a new name because I'm feeling myself right now. This hair is actually giving me a throwback to the 2014, 2016 Ayla Sarayi. When I first started my channel, I would always wear my hair parted to the side, lots of curls, and I always felt so good about it. And I kind of took a break, went down the middle, you know, kind of toned down on the volume, but this is making me just miss it more than ever. And I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling myself. Just tell my energy just changed because I am glammed up and done up and I feel literally like the villain in the novelas and I kind of like that because they're always kind of hot, you know? Anyways, that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys love this real kickback uh, style video, shower with me kind of vibes to the room. Also getting ready in here is a vibe as well, so let me know what you guys think. And also before you guys leave, do not forget to take advantage of the 20% off of GHG tools right now. And if you guys do get it, I can't wait to see what kind of hairstyles you create. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see y'all later, bye.